Salt Lake County Health Department. This is Mackenzie. Health investigator Mackenzie Bray follows a script that she knows all too well. I'm just following up on your COVID-19 test results. Do you have a couple minutes? The person on the other end of the line has tested positive for the coronavirus. Has the hospital informed you of that? They had it? Okay, yeah, so they did come back positive. Bray is among an army of health professionals and volunteers working as contact tracers, one of the most important roles to guard against a resurgence of the virus. Okay, so you have another name. While some countries have devised national approaches, in the U.S., states are having to create their own programs as businesses reopen. Some health officials estimate that as many as 300,000 contact tracers would be needed in the country to effectively mitigate the spread. Please call me as soon as you can. In Salt Lake County, about 130 contact tracers act as part interrogators, part counselors. That's okay. I know you're going through a lot. Many calls take 30 minutes or more as they meticulously go through a list of questions on printouts. On the wall, a stark reminder of what's at stake. But not everyone is forthcoming or can remember who they may have exposed to the virus. Any other exposures that you're aware of? Any other people that you've been around? Oh, I get people that lie all the time. I try to get as much information from the beginning, but um, it's just not always the case. Others are grateful for the outreach. Anessa Archuleta was on the receiving end of Maria DeCaro's calls during her 14-day quarantine. I just remember thanking her and telling her how much we truly do appreciate it and how nice it's been to like talk to her over that time. When you do this like 10, 12 hours a day, it gets, you know, it's catching up. So, and um, it's nice to get those positive reactions from people that are very grateful that they do see, you know, the purpose of what we're doing and trying to, you know, protect the community and stuff. But DeCaro doesn't have time to reflect before she makes her next call. What's your last name? Krista Fourier, Associated Press.